Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I am doing a different type of video today. I am going to give you a overview of my inspiration wall. So this is for my baby step two to keep me encouraged as you go through. Um, once you get to baby step two, you will realize very quickly that it never goes fast enough. You never think that you're paying enough. <laughs> and um, it seems like probably one of the slowest things that you've ever done. However, as you see your progress on these visuals, and I'm, I'm very much so a visual person. So as you see your progress on these visuals, you will realize um, as you're going along that you are making progress and that you just need to, you know, stay focused and continue to stay the course. So what we'll start with first is the first thing that I did was my debt snowball poster. This will kind of give you an overview of where my debt is. <laughs> so I started off with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight credit cards. Um, three of those were major credit cards. The other five were um, store credit cards. Um, as we all know, I am a fluffy girl, but I have no idea why I needed a Lane Bryant, a Ashley Stewart, and an Avenue. <laughs> it made no sense to me. They basically have similar clothing, and so it was just ridiculous. So in February, I started um, paying down my debt. And then, of course, in March, I paid down the bulk of it um, with my doing my baby step number one and my baby step number zero because there were some things I needed to catch up on in my four walls and then baby step one of course was saving a thousand dollars and so after that I went ahead and paid off one two three four five six six credit cards um my Ashley Furniture was one of those things that Dave talks about, and I was determined not to let that happen, but I had one year free interest, and um, literally we were at the 11th hour before they would go and backdate it to the original date and add the interest on, but ha-ha, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> so I did get that paid off in full and did not accrue any interest. But we'll not be doing that again. Originally, my credit card debt was $7,487.33. Um, we're probably... Um, a little shy of 4000 now. So we've made a, a ginormous dent in it. But I'm going to keep on trucking. My next debt after I finish my credit card debt is going to be my vehicle. No, I would not have purchased my vehicle if I was doing Dave. That's just being honest. Um, I would have held on to my Pathfinder that was seven years old and gotten whatever needed to be fixed, fixed. But when you know better, you do better. Um, and then the bulk <laughs> my student loan um i will tell you all this um about 20,000 of this is because i have deferred a loan for 23 years and so the original 5,000 that i borrowed is now a $25,000 student loan if i could kick myself honestly yes i would absolutely ridiculous but thought I was beating the system and the system beat me that's exactly what happened so um it is going to be in a very expensive lesson but a lesson nonetheless another big portion of this is um, my undergrad because I went to a private university and then also my master's so 
um, $115,646. Um, my house payoff is about $61,000. It's probably a little bit less than that now. My total debt is $216,291.33. So I've got a lot to do, but I'm staying focused. I'm just, you know, taking it one step at a time. I did a yard sale this past weekend, um, made close to $400. I immediately sent that on with a little extra. So where Ashley Stewart, this past statement was at $1,259.56, it is now $700. So I just sent all of that. So the next thing is these wonderful color pages. I love them dearly. It makes my heart fill with joy. <laughs> To be able to do these, I love to color them in and see my progress. Um, as I stated, I'm very visual. So this is from DebtFreeCharts.com. The majority of their charts are free. Um, they have a few that um, are maybe a dollar, but it's not much um, to sew into them for the creation that they have um, been able to help so many people. So we'll go over both sets of these. Just wanted to kind of give you an overview of uh, what they are, but we'll go over them individually. So this first one is the starter fund, um, starter emergency fund. And so that's your baby step number one. And so uh, I had about $100 in there when I first started. And if you see, that's the pink um, remember, I had that emergency, well, several emergencies back to back, but um, the last one that I think I mentioned was when the girls had to go to the urgent care and then their medicine was like $379. So it wiped me out, just being honest. Um, so that pink was the hundred or so that I had in there, and then I funded the rest of it with my income tax, and that's the green. So the next one is Ashley Stewart. Um, as you can see, the yellow is just like a normal payment um, or maybe a little extra. That orange is the um, money that I sent in from the yard sale. And then there was a second payment that came in from the yard sale so now we're down to seven hundred dollars this one right here is the first capital one that i have um i'm just making the minimum payments because the ashley stewart has the lower balance so i will continue to chip that one away but just taking into consideration that you know whatever payment i have I make every month there is a good chunk of that going to interest so as soon as I finish with Ashley Stewart then I will move and take that $80 minimum payment and apply it to the minimum payment that I make to Capital One and then any extra funds that I get will apply so it's a snowball then this last one over here is the second capital one. This one right now currently doesn't have any interest, but that will be obsolete in June. Once again, when you know better, you do better. Um, I wish that I would have... I didn't even know it was no interest. That's how oblivious I was to my credit. You gave me credit and I took it. I didn't even know I wasn't paying interest and it probably was for at least a good year that I wasn't paying interest and I could have gotten away scot-free <laughs> or so they say gotten away with just paying what I borrowed versus ending up having to pay back interest so it's probably gonna come back and bite me on my butt where a good portion of what I pay is not gonna go just to the principal it'll also go to the interest so this one right here um, are the last three um, where it says credit cards. This is the last three credit cards accumulated um, and it's $7,441.51. I'm right uh, a little less than 
maybe 4000 I guess. So those are just, you know, small payments up at the top that blow. The pink is that big chunk that came from the um, yard sale. And then that last one is um, just payments and that last payment from the yard sale, the yellow. This one right here is the credit cards. Um, the debt-free one is the credit cards, the truck, and the student loan. I did not include the house because um, Dave, that is a, a separate step when you're paying off baby step number two so you don't have to include your house. The other part of me did not include my house too because I don't have interest. My house is not like a normal accru accruing interest bearing loan. So, um, I have a Habitat home and so I don't have, uh, I just have the mortgage, the principal and any, um, escrow fees that I have like property tax insurance and stuff of that nature. So that in itself is a blessing. So lastly, I just saw this on one of the, uh, support groups on Facebook the other day and I fell in love with it. So I duplicated it. <laughs> I did tell the person I was going to duplicate and they said it's okay. They duplicated it from somebody else too. So it is a chain link. And so I set mine up a little differently than theirs um, because I only had three credit cards and they had um, a substantial amount of credit card debt. My blue over to the left hand side is the Ashley Stewart. And I have eight links on there. I can actually cut one off now since I made an additional payment. And so each one of the links um, represents $100 on your debt. So as you continue to um, send money in, then at that point you continue to chip away at each one of the links and cut them off. Now, the pink one is the first capital one. Um, that one has about 15 links on it and, um, that will be my next tackle. So right now, as I said, I'm paying as much, anything extra that I get in, I send it to Ashley Stewart. I am determined to tell Ashley, bye Felicia. <laughs> That's my new thing is to tell Ashley, bye Felicia. You got to get out my life. I'm done. So, um, then, like I said, I'll take everything from Ashley Stewart, including the monthly payment, and apply it to the Capital One and do a snowball effect. So that will be the second one. Now, I can still cut down on the, um, I can still cut down the links on the pink one, which is the second Capital One. As long as the payments and the interest subtracted out equal a hundred dollars. So if it was fifteen hundred dollars and it went down to fourteen hundred dollars, then I can take a link off. And then the green, that one is the second capital one, and that is about twenty links. Uh, I owe nineteen sixty nine oh one on there, so I rounded it up. So once I get rid of that, um, once it's under 1900, I can take one link off and kind of go from there. So I hope these visuals help you guys. It definitely helps me. I, like I said, I need to see what my progress is. I need to see in different types of ways. This is in my bedroom. So I see it every day when I wake up, I see it every day before I go to sleep and I just continuously, um, look at it. And, you know, celebrate the things that I've accomplished. You know, do I have a long way to go? Heck yeah, I do. Especially them student loans. But at the same time, at least I'm moving in the right direction. And as I'm going, I'm going to make sure that I celebrate those times. So therefore, um, I don't look at the big picture in a negative way. I look at it as, okay, that's one more stumbling block that I've just knocked off or a link, if you want to use that, that I've cut off of my debt. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, please leave the comments below. If you are visiting for the first time or the second time and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. 
to all of my new butterflies. Um, we're up to like 170, I think. So I, I just really am so humbled that you guys have taken time out of your busy schedule. I am a single mom of three, four dogs, <laughs> and, you know, I'm carrying you through my life of becoming debt-free, trying to lose weight, and dealing with these doggone children of mine. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy the content. Um, I really enjoy making it for you all. And um, until next time, butterflies, love you. And yes, I'm throwing you a kiss. <laughs>